Understanding Automobile Valve Train A valve train is part of an internal combustion engine that controls the operation of the intake and exhaust valves. There is an intake valve that allows the air fuel mixture into the combustion. The exhaust valve allows the exhaust gases to exit the combustion chamber once the process is complete. What is a valve train? A valve train is a component that is designed to open and close the intake and exhaust valves so that air and fuel mixtures can enter and leave the combustion chamber as gases. Nowadays, engines are designed with overhead cam assemblies, which are known as overhead camshafts. It is located near the top of the engine. The primary function of the valve train is to control the opening and closing of the valves. The valve train also controls the flow of air and fuel that enter the combustion chamber and leave as exhaust gases. In working a valve train, the camshaft plays a very important role as its rotational movement aids the opening and closing of the valves using the cam lobes. How does a valve train work? In most heavy duty diesel engines, four valves are used. That is, there are four valves in each cylinder. There are two valves for the intake of air and fuel and two for the exhaust gases. The intake valves have a larger diameter than the exhaust valves, which allows more airflow to the cylinder. Exhaust valves are designed to withstand higher temperatures of hot exhaust gas than intake valves. This is because the fresh air that flows through the intake valves keeps it at a lower temperature. To keep the valves intact from burning, the intake and exhaust valve transfers heat to the cylinder head. Otherwise, they get burned. An injector in the middle of the valve is pushed down to inject fuel into the cylinder. Well, the timing for the valve opening and closing is incredibly precise, making it work efficiently. In newer engines, electrical signals are used to signal the injector instead of the mechanical valve train. This process is even more accurate. Components of a valve train. Camshaft. The function of the camshaft is to control the timing and lift the profile of the valve opening. This is achieved with the cam lobe on the rotating shaft. A camshaft is driven by the crankshaft and it rotates at half the speed of the crankshaft in the case of a four-stroke engine. The crankshaft transfers motion to the camshaft using a metal timing chain or mostly a rubber timing belt. A set of gears can also be used. Push rod. A push rod is a long slender metal rod that is used in overhead valve engines. It's also used to transfer motion from the engine block camshaft to the cylinder head valves. There is a lifter on the bottom end of a push rod that gets in contact with the camshaft. The camshaft lobe moves the lifter upwards, which moves the push rod. The top end of the lifter further pushes on the rocker arm, which opens the valve. Rocker arm bucket tappet. The engine design determines the ways the valve will be actuated, either by a rocker arm, finger, or bucket tappet. In overhead camshaft engines, bucket tappets or fingers are used upon which the calm lobes contact. Rocker arms are used in overhead valve engines, which are actuated by a push rod and pivot on a shaft. It can also be pivoted on individual ball studs, which will help to actuate the valves. Valves. The valve used in most modern engines is called a poppet valve. Some valves, like sleeve valves, slide valves, and rotary valves are also considered at times. Generally, poppet valves are opened by the camshaft lobe or rocker arm. It's closed by a coiled spring called a valve spring. If this video was helpful, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.